Hello there. It's a joy to speak to you. Not all is, is gone. Eh? And, uh, you know, God is, is still in the picture, even with, the, with, what, with what is happening right now on earth. My name is uh, Pastor Kato Lafond. I want to talk to you briefly about revival. When you hear the word revival, people saying revival is coming. In the year 20, in the, in, the, in the year 1913, a man of God spoke about revival. 2020, you know, is still, speak, is, is still being spoken. After those many, many years, several men of God and women of God have come in the picture and gone, come in the picture and gone, but is speaking about God coming to visit this land for the last time, bringing the revival. When you hear the word revival, what do you imagine? The word revival, what do you think? Revive us, oh God. Revive us, oh God. Father, revive us. Father, restore us. Father, rebuild us. Father, do, you know, we are asking the Lord to revive our lives, revive our hearts. But there is the last move of God that is coming on earth. That's what I want to talk about. The last move of God that is coming on earth. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, Peter says that, you know, I will pour out of my spirit. You know, he says this is what, this is what Joel the prophet said. Huh? That I will pour out of my spirit. Get that point, that word, out of my spirit. Meaning a portion of my spirit. A portion of my spirit. A portion of me. But in the book of Joel 2.28, it says, I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit. Acts chapter 2 says, I'll out, out of my spirit, I'll pour out. Meaning, out of my spirit. A portion of me, I'll pour out. A portion of this water in the glass, I'll pour out. But he says, he says in Joel, I will pour out my spirit. The spirit of a man is the man. Without that spirit, that man becomes a shell. So when God says, I will pour out my spirit, actually he's saying, I will pour out myself upon all flesh. Talks about prophecy, talks about dreams, talks about visions, you know, talks about, you know, the moon and the, you know, the sun and the moon will be turned to darkness. They turn into blood. Wow. That will be such a mighty move of God that's coming. And it has begun. It has begun. It has begun. So when you hear the word revival, what do you imagine? What do you think? A revival is you coming back to your original state. Meaning there's a state in there's a state in which you are supposed to be, which you are not. Adam sinned, all of us fell, then lost God's glory, lost God's grace, lost God. And now God is saying he has come to fully restore us back to himself. Revival. You and me coming back to our original state. Wow. That's what, what, what I like to talk about. May the Lord revive your spirit. Revive your heart as you share. He says in, in, in Joel 2.28, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The Lord is coming to visit this land, this earth, this land of Kenya, from Kenya to other parts of the nations of the, of the, of the world. The Lord is coming to visit the earth. In his mighty splendor, mighty glory, mighty power. He's coming. Yes, he's coming. The Lord is coming. Some say that, Lord, will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? David said, will you refresh us? Refresh us. 
times of times of refreshings now you have heard of the mighty revivalists were well, there the, you know god's generals men of god women of god that moved in the spirit of god they allowed god to use them as vessels in certain times those are just the moves of god they are, they are good movements there's a movement and then it 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 it, it relaxed another movement came it did not die it relaxed another movement came and in it there were persecutions fights and a number of things the movements but now god himself is coming to come and visit this earth in a mighty way whereby the grace that is coming now can't be like the one that has been there before he says that he says that uh, you know I'll visit your land or rather I'll visit your nation I'll bring rain both the former and the latter coming together the grace in the old testament with all those mighty men of god the grace in the new testament the former rain and the latter putting that grace together that power together they are anointed, anointed together to move in this land signs and wonders mighty things you know the you know you 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 see seeing the clouds clouds moving in obedience to the holy spirit in obedience to your voice because that voice you you, you just become a vessel a vessel you know a mouthpiece of god where god will pour out himself into you and then god begins to do signs and wonders by you that time is coming that time is here that time has come it has begun revival has broken forth has broken forth if i were you like i'm doing i am working on my heart every day romans 12 verse 1 says i beseech you therefore brethren present your body a holy living sacrifice holy is acceptable acceptable to our god begin to prepare your heart cleanse your heart come out of bitterness come out of anger come out of worldliness come out of idolatry come out of fornication whatever you are come out of corruption the lord is coming don't be the one to miss out on this visitation that's coming don't be the one that will miss out on this great you know outpouring of the holy spirit that is cut that no has has come and it now is is growing growing is on the increase before you realize you will see things happening prepare your heart haba who said i have heard of your fame and i stand in the awe of the things that i have heard that you did you blessed you moved in israel you changed their lives you also you know you also chastened them you moved mightily in them you moved greatly in their lives you moved powerfully in the nation now he was saying revive those days revive them bring them back bring them back and then he was saying also there was judgment and you say when you judge do it with mercy but god revive those great days where we want to see your glory see you move see you bless us powerfully see you heal the sick raise the dead you know doing you know signs and wonders the lord is coming very very soon very very soon hospitals are going to be empty crime will go down and die crime will go down and die be the vessel be the vessel be the vessel that god will use revival is here <music>